Welcome to the 2023 Inside the Huddle edition. This is Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. And we open up with Sacred Heart this weekend. It's going to be a great matchup, and it's all going to be about the guys up front. Lafayette struggled last year on the offensive line. They did a great job defensively on the defensive line. But it's going to be all about the offensive line this year for Lafayette, especially in the early games. And this Sacred Heart game is no bigger. It's right there in front of us. we got to get it done. And getting Mike Barr back at center, getting John Olmstead back at guard, Boshi at left, uh, at left guard, and having the Ryder Langsdale out there on the edge, bigger, stronger, faster is going to be huge. So let's talk about, again, not so much Sacred Heart today. We're going to talk about Lafayette. We're going to talk about offensive line, where people match up. And when I talk about this and we go through these things on the, out of the booth from the sideline, let's talk about where we're positioned. So gaps, A gap between the center and the guard. B gap between the guard and the center, C gap between the C, uh, tackle and the tight end. So there are your gaps, A, B, C, D would be the outside, anything to the outside sweep. Positioning, head up on the center is a zero technique is what we call. A one or a shade would be a nose guard shaded to either side. So you have a zero and a one and so on. Head up would be a two. I always talk about three technique tackles. That would be an outside leverage on the guard. And then if we talk about the uh, tackle, a four or an I four would be slightly shaded to the inside. And that five technique tackle, we see Malik Ham last year rushing off of the edge. On the tight end, you have a seven and a wide or a wide nine. You see the Eagles play as some size, a wide nine rush from the outside. And then an inside would be an eight. So that's what we call. So if I say a guy's in a three, he's shaded on the guard. If I say he's a head up on the nose, he's in a zero. If he's on the inside eye of the tackle, which is one of the toughest things for the tackle, because he needs help from the guard right there. I-4 is a great situation to be in. So if Lafayette lines up, you'll know what the gaps are. You'll know what their positioning is just by me calling it from the sideline. Okay. Now let's talk about some of the techniques that Lafayette's going to have to use. They didn't get a lot of push last year. So this year we're going to see a lot of double teams up front. So if we talk about a reach block, well right there, that's Mason Gilbert. If we're running the ball outside, we need to reach the nine technique. We need to get to the outside. On the inside, we may need to scoop or slip. So both of these guys taking the tackle up to the linebacker. Okay, so whoever comes off, if that tackle goes inside, guard stays, tackle goes up. If he continues to go, he can push him out, the guard can go up. So that's a slip or what we call a scoop block. A cut block on the backside. Say we want this backside uh, guard to cut off that nose guard so we can get the center up to the second level. That's a cut block. Sometimes on the interior you can go low, but you got to be careful you're not behind the legs, you get a penalty. So cut block, scoop block, reach block, a double team, a pure double, push him right straight up into the linebacker. So those are two 300 pound guys, that's 600 pounds on a 250 pound nose guard, push him right straight back, we're going to get a nice double team up there. So those are the type of blocks we're going to need. We could also run a little pull. Pull this guy to the outside. When you pull from your position, you're either pulling here on bootleg or you can pull on the backside if we're running some sort of hand back, down, down block, pull, pull the backside, set the tight end off the line of scrimmage and maybe block back with everybody and pull the tackle and the tight end getting Mason Gilbert. So those are pull blocks. Anytime you start on one side of the center and you cross the line of scrimmage would be a pull, okay? So there's basic blocks. So when I say reach, you know we're trying to reach somebody to the outside. When I say double, we're trying to get pushed to the second level. And when I say cut block, we're trying to cut somebody off on the backside. That is a tough block. Center's got to stay as long as he can to help and then get up to the second level. Basic, simple. When we throw the football, well, how do we do that? We got to make sure that we understand cup protections. If we're going to turn back from the first uncovered man, which would be the guard, everybody's turning back here. Tackle all big on big, so we get a perfect cup protection in here for Ryan Schuster. Easy. If we turn back, in other words, we're going to turn everybody back. We might take the back off the backside or pull the backside guard. So every time we turn the protection back, a lot of times you saw Malik Cam would be out here on the outside, and they would turn the protection to Malik to almost get two guys outside on Malik. So anytime you turn the whole five, that's turn back. When you turn four, it's cup. Very simple. And look this week for Ryan Schuster to get on the edge and maybe some sprint blocks where everybody's cutting on the corner and we got double uh, formation or double patterns out here. So all of those things are things we're going to talk about all year long. 
offensive line this week is huge at Sacred Heart.